vectors using the TI-83 graphing calculator. For this video and video similar to these, visit the website www.titutor.com. We'll find the magnitude and direction angle of a vector using the TI-83 graphing calculator. To find the magnitude or the length of a vector a comma b, we will use the function in the graphing calculator. We will input rectangular x comma y coordinates and the calculator shall return the magnitude or the length of our vector. The direction angle theta satisfies tangent theta is equal to b over a where a is not equal to zero and is given to us in the graphing calculator by this particular function. We input the rectangular coordinates x comma y and in return we have our direction angle theta. Next we'll look at the functions to find the horizontal and the vertical components of a vector. The horizontal component of a vector u having magnitude or length u and direction angle theta are given by this function. You'll input your polar coordinates in the form r comma theta or your magnitude comma your direction angle and the calculator shall return the horizontal component. Vertical components of a vector u having magnitude u and direction angle theta are given by this function. You'll input the rectangular coordinates r comma theta and your calculator shall return the vertical component of your vector. Let's look at an example. In this example we'll find the magnitude and the direction angle for our vector u. Let's take a look at the calculator solution on finding the magnitude. First we'll set the mode on our calculator. So I'll press mode and I'll change my calculator to degree mode. And now I'll return to my home screen. Next we'll open the angle menu. So I'll use second and matrix which is our angle. Next we'll select the fifth option. Now we'll input the rectangular coordinates 3 comma negative 2. And we have our value u is equal to 3.61. Next we'll find the direction angle. So once again we'll set the mode if we haven't already done so but we're in degree mode so we're okay. Next we'll open up the angle menu with second and matrix. Now we'll scroll down to the sixth option. We'll once again enter our rectangular coordinates 3 comma negative 2. We'll close off our function. Notice that our direction angle must be positive, so we'll add 360 degrees. And we have a direction angle of 326.31 degrees. Next, we'll find the horizontal and vertical components of the following vector. We're given that the length or the magnitude is 25 and the direction angle is 41.7. So let's take a look at the calculator solution. And in this part we'll find the horizontal component. So once again we'll open our angle menu with second and matrix. Next we'll select our seventh option and I'll press enter. We'll now enter the polar coordinates. We'll put in our magnitude, which is 25. We'll put in our direction angle, which is 41.7. We'll close off our function. And we have a horizontal component of 18.7.
Next, let's find the vertical component. So once again, we'll open the angle menu with second and matrix. We'll scroll down to our eighth function. I'll press enter. Next, we'll enter the polar coordinate. We'll put in the magnitude, which is 25, and our direction angle, 41.7. We'll close off our function. And we have a vertical component of 16.6. .6. Thanks for watching.